how to make a poof using a regular paint bucket. Hey guys, Yuri Essentials here. For today's video, I'm going to be using paint buckets to make a poof. I'm also going to be using a plastic sheet that I got from Home Depot to make the shape that I want on the paint bucket. This is what the plastic sheet looks like. And because I use this a lot, I just got the whole roll. So I will be cutting out just what I need in singular strips and attaching them to the buckets. All of the strips are going to be 18 inches long. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I'm going to make a mark that's going to be half inch at the top and half inch at the bottom to use it as my guide when I'll be attaching the pieces to the buckets. Now each of the strips are going to be two inches wide. I'll be folding where the marks are and then using them as my guide and stapling them down to the bucket. I remove the handle of the bucket because I won't be needing it. I'm using a heavy duty staple gun to attach the pieces to the bucket. I'm going to press down the sharp points that are inside with a pair of scissors so that it doesn't hurt me. I'll be covering the outer part of what I've just made now with felt. I am using this color because this is actually a requested video and the person who made this request wanted this exact color and also wanted to see how it will be possible to make her own poof without having to neat or use a crocheting pin. She wanted something quick and easy to make using a turquoise color and also without having to neat or using a crocheting pin. Now, this was kind of tricky because I had other ways of going about this, but then I decided to go with this route because apart from the fact that it's easy to make, you will also have something sturdy to sit on and extra storage.
I'm going to take a little piece and cover up this open part here. Now that I'm done with this, I'm going to be covering the entire thing with chunky yarn that I got from Walmart. I'm going to start from here and I'll be attaching the yarn to the bucket with a hot glue gun. I used two bundles of yarn for one bucket, but you should know that when you're doing this, do not stretch it out too much, but just hold it lightly and glue it all around. This way, you will avoid using too much and also it wouldn't really look too thin when you're done. As I continue to do this, and I got to this point, I decided to stop and then see what it was going to look like if I used a bling wrap in the middle. I got a bling wrap that has the color that's close to a turquoise color. And I'm going to be attaching this now in the middle. Like I said, I'm still experimenting to see what this is going to look like. When I was done attaching it, I then went ahead to finish the remaining part of the bucket with the same yarn. So far so good, this is what I have. As you can see, the inside can be used for storage. For the top, I'm just going to place a cake platter on top of it, and I made two of them. Now I'm trying to go with something a little bit different here, so I took the second one and I covered the entire thing with yarn, just to see if I was going to like this one better. When I was done, I did something to see if it was going to look really nice for the top. Just covering it up with yarn to make it look like an actual poof all the way from the top. I am doing this from the bottom part, like I said, just to see what it's going to look like when I turn it over and it looks like it's coming from the top. Now that I'm done with this, I kind of like the way this one looks, like an actual poof. And I'm also loving the fact that it's got extra storage. I left the inside the way it is, but then you can go ahead and cover the inside with felt, if you like, to give it a uniform look. There are other ideas on how to go about this, and I will be sharing it with you guys in the nearest future. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Now, don't forget to like it and share it with your friends and families as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.